a bad cook. <laughs> Doug McKenzie is a short order cook. He says he's tired of flipping steaks. He wants to get rich, quick. So he and a friend who's a janitor formed a band. They want to be rock stars. <laughs> the news. In May, they scraped together enough money to record a song. Well, hopefully, what it would do would, would open doors, uh, like maybe a record, a record company would hear it, and they might say, hey, well, that's great. Uh, maybe they'll throw millions of dollars at us, you know, just, just like anybody else running out and buying a lottery ticket. So this is the Muse, and their submission to Cherche 85, uh-oh, that's the way the boys are. Mackenzie got the idea when a local radio station started a music contest. Shea FM invited local bands to send in tapes, and their songs are played on the radio. The winner gets a crack at the big time. The winner gets a live broadcast on Shea and um, video of their song produced for them professionally uh, with an approximate value of between twenty and $30,000. his band aren't the only would-be stars. This year, Shea FM received more than a hundred tapes from budding basement bands in Ottawa. In fact, producers say more and more musicians are running to recording studios. I think there has been a change uh, significantly in, in terms of the cost of recording and in the quality of the equipment that's become available in a lower price range. And that's essentially put uh, recording quality recording into um, a segment of, of the artist population in the lower income brackets. In other words, you don't have to be a millionaire now to make a record. I'll kiss you when it's dangerous. And it can pay off. Andreas Del Castillo and his band called Eight Seconds practice almost every night in the basement of his mother's West End Ottawa home. They've only appeared in a few local bars so far, but already their songs are being broadcast in Canada and the United States. Two years ago, Eight Seconds won the Shea FM Rock Contest. We made a video from winning the contest, and uh, that video was done by Core Videocom Limited here in Ottawa, and directed by Stuart Dudley, and that broke a lot of ground for us because it became quite a successful video. It was a video to our, the song that we entered called uh, Where's Beulah? And it's, it's won several awards, um, Canadian awards. And um, it's, it got played on MTV and much music, of course. So we got a lot of exposure out of it. Doug McKenzie won't know if he's headed for the big time until the end of the summer, when Shea FM announces the winner. But at least his song will have been played on the radio. And he'll have had a chance to make his mark on the music mogul. Squires, CBC News, Ottawa.